Hello watch fans, it's Anders here on Watch On Channel. Today I'm very excited to show you a very nice micro brand from Sweden. It's a brand called Mongsha Watches and they specialize in doing this aviation, kind of vintage inspired aviation watches. So far they have done two watches, they have done an automatic Sky Toucher and the Sky Toucher GMT. The automatic is of course an automatic watch and the GMT is a quartz watch and I'm going to review both. Today I'm starting with the automatic but I'm of course wearing the GMT. This is the vintage green version and I'm of course doing a full review of this interesting quartz GMT watch. So. It comes in this cardboard box with the logo printed on it. Inside we find a very nice watch box. This is plastic. So it comes with this very nice kind of pamphlet with all sorts of information about the Monshaw watches. They, you have the history of the brand. You have some very nice pictures of the watches. So a very nice little kind of catalog or just a little pamphlet regarding your watch and instruction and how you use it. So of course the most interesting thing is the watch. So I'm just going to take the watch box out of the cardboard box. So here we have it and let's open. And here we have the Sky Toucher Automatic. So very nice watch box. These watches are priced at 433 US dollars. But the watch box is really uh, above what we usually see with watches at this price range. It's much better than anything you see from Seiko and the likes. So a very nice job from uh, Mongsha. They also included a leather strap. That's because they actually also sell leather straps. So you, if you're not completely satisfied with this leather strap or you just want some cool leather straps for other watches or want to put another leather strap on, on your Mongsha Sky Toucher, they actually also sell leather straps. So that's quite nice. They included that one in the package. So Mongsha sent in both watches for review after I wrote them just to clarify everything, all the details about these watches. And they actually told me you can keep one and send the other back. And I'm very grateful for that. And uh, I'm just deciding which one I'm going to keep. But that doesn't really deter me from doing a completely honest review of the Mongsha Sky Toucher. So what we have here is an automatic watch. It's a watch that is 100 meter water resistant. The dimensions is 42 in diameter, including the crown. We're talk talking about 46 millimeters. It has a height, a thickness of 12 millimeters. Lock to lock, it's just 50 millimeters, so five centimeters lock to lock. And the lock width is 22 millimeters. Because these are kind of aviation inspired, it's definitely very nice with 42 millimeters. I would really have been disappointed if they made it in 43 or 44. We see a lot of big watches today. I think that 42 is a really nice diameter for a aviation inspired watch like this one. So it comes in a lot of different variations as you can see on the screen right now. So I had the choice and I opted for the white. I think I like the white the most because I think that the date window at three o'clock really blends really nice into the into the whole design that the dial when we look at the black and the blue and some of the other styles I think it's just a little too obvious with the date window it's a nice complication but on the white version I think it really blends in and I really like the blue version I really like that beautiful sunburst dial it it must look really really nice during the summer in the natural sunlight but I definitely think that the white version I have in my hands here is the one that I think looks the most classy so we have Loom and let me just show you the Loom right now. So the Loom is okay. I think it's actually quite strong. It's Super Luminova C3, but they didn't apply very much Loom on the outer part of the dial only uh, for the hands. It's You're able to read the time and you're able to just make a guesstimate. So getting back to the watch here, as you can see, you have uh, Arabic numerals at 3, 6 and 9, a date window at 3 as I, as I mentioned. And then we have these very nice applied hour markings at all the other hours. The hands are typical aviation style hands, these very very big, very legible sword hands. A kind of needle second hand. And 
A really cool thing about this watch is that it's extremely legible. So the hands are big and you have this outer part, this railroad track on the outer part of the dial, which makes it very, very easy to read the time. So having a look at the dial, let me just unscrew the crown. It is a screw down crown, which is a really nice thing. It is not a dive watch and of course it comes on a leather strap, but it's really nice that you have a screw down crown where we have the applied Mongsha logo. This is this kind of M with an anchor and the name Monsha at 12 o'clock and here at 6 o'clock Sky Touch Automatic. So all in all, I think we actually have a very nice clean dial, which looks really, really classy. So screwing the crown back in. It's very, very easy to unscrew the crown. It's very easy to set the time. It has manual winding and also hacking. Inside of this watch beats the Myota 9015. And this is just a really, really cool choice. So a lot of these micro brands, they go with the lesser, not as uh, movements from Myota, maybe an 8000 series movement, or they go with the Seiko NH35A. And there's nothing wrong with the Seiko NH35A, but this movement was actually not made to compete with the ETA2824. It was made to compete with some of the better ETA movements, very accurate. So with this watch, I get approximately seven to eight seconds plus a day, which is absolutely nice with a movement like this. You get a sapphire crystal, which is completely flat with, with AR, treatment so it, it's really nicely responsive in the sunlight i also really like the case design polishing on the side a nice bevel here polishing on the top here as well and polishing on the bezel looking at the case back it's a really nice engraving so mongsha and you get this kind of propeller logo the mongsha propeller logo here and some information the caliber as i said automatic movement the caliber 9015 and the sky toucher watch the leather strap is really really nice it's kind of this coffee brown italian made leather it's what i really actually like about this leather strap is that it's quite thin it's really really nice to wear on the wrist of course also a signed buckle which is kind of a different design from the usual kind of pin buckles as we see tang buckles so on the screen right now, you can see how the 42 millimeter sky touch automatic wears on my 18 centimeter wrist in circumference. And I think it wears really, really nicely. I can easily wear this watch. I think Mongsha tried to do something a little bit different and they did a really nice overall package. Also an interesting thing with this watch is that they applied this kind of platter here with uh, i believe it's kind of a, a serial number for the swedish air force if i'm not completely mistaken i really like the kind of white cream color they applied the applied logo the applied numerals and hour markings look really great it's super legible and again with this version i think it's really really cool that the date window really blends into the whole design really nice case back nice leather strap and i also really like the diamond shaped crown it just really is a testament to the whole design which is in this kind of aviation style design of course kind of a fashion aviation watch but maybe a blend be, be, between a, an aviation watch a, a sporty watch and also a very dressy watch and the crown is very easy to grip and and to set the time and wind the watch and all of that so i don't really have too many complaints about this watch i would have preferred some better loom for this watch. I know it's kind of in, in the dressy style, but I think that the loom is a little bit disappointing. Not the loom applied to the hands, but the loom applied uh, outside on the railroad track here at each hour marking. I hope you enjoyed the full review of the Mongsha Sky Toucher. Remember to visit the company if you're interested in the watch. Just go and look at all the different variations they have. Also the GMT watches, which is of course also coming up for review. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think about this watch? What is your preferable style and color choice within the Mongsha line of watches? And also remember to subscribe to my channel and share this review on the forums, on Facebook, because it's a big help that a lot of, a lot of other people see my videos. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you. Bye.